Right, good morning and welcome back to the loft conversion series. So, as I said before, when I start my videos, let's just have a look at what the rear of the house now looks like. So you would have seen from Adam's videos, or the last one you would have seen. Let me just uh, zoom in. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Adam. Good morning. So, as I said, as you would have seen, or said I was going to do, start my video, I'm going to show you the transformation of the back of the house. So all we're doing now is we are stripping off all of these tiles now that are inside our framework because the dormer framework, other than the doing the windows, which is window, window, French doors. I've got to put a little bit of timber in there now just to make those, but the structure as it stands is in there. So we're going to strip that. We're going to take out the collar ties from inside, take all the felt and all the tiles off, get in then and start uh, setting out ready to put the steels up in the air and then today and tomorrow we're going to try and get this, uh, this to a point where we can waterproof it ready for the storms on Wednesday potentially maybe it's a hot one so I don't know how much footage we'll get because I'm not going to leave my camera sitting around today but uh, let's crack on with it I've got my saw set up ready to put the timbers inside the web of the steel so I'll go and get a quick measurement on those again I think it was 135 I think and we'll get them uh, cut while the lads are stripping the rear roof off so the timber's all cut, ready for the web of the steel. Saws out the sun. Right, where's my water? Keep hydrated, obviously, today. Let's get the uh, I'll upstairs and get these uh, collar ties taken out. <coughs> so now the weight's off the roof. I'm happy to take out these collar ties so we can at least walk around for a little bit. We're going to move all this insulation to the side now over to here well that's taking the bath off and then we'll do a big uh, big reveal the nice thing is because of the weather today we'll be able to get some uh, get some light in here which would be nice and we can stand on the floor in the pearl and we can take everything off hello hello <laughs> right, now the roof's all fully open what I've done now is I've put props in here, just pan out and supported the front roof all the way down. Support the triple because that's got to go against the steel all the way through. Try and put the main supports on the front double rafters as well, where the veloxes are. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put almost like another temporary collar tie from there all the way through. And that gap there now on top of there to top of the ridge is more than enough to put our our steel on top of there now so we've cut these back again wide enough for the steel so the first no, no plan now is we'll come from here feed the steel we'll cut this one out as well actually we'll feed the steel in like that and then up and slide it all the way across sit it onto there and repeat for the middle and repeat for the end one perks of the uh, the cameraman uh, I'm just on the camera while the lads put the steel up here we are. Yeah, I am going to keep it. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. One more. A bit more. Okay. Keep it going. No worries. Tail out the way. Okay. And this. Sideways. Sideways. Let's go out. Oh, can't go any further. Oh, perhaps we can come in then. Can't reach. Yeah. Reach. Okay. Okay. Sit down. Back over to you. Right, I stopped on that one because I need another pair of hands, so there's no put me stood there idly. So that one's in, we've put it on this for now, and that has got to be packed up a little bit, but this is just support, so we'll pack that up to level. But that is where it wants to be. I've cut that triple against this uh, and then that'll get joist hung but they're in the force of it pushing this way it might not need it anyway so we started to cut these out leaving certain ones in to allow a bit of bracing bracing there as i've already said i've propped them up right so here we are cut the last couple out So 
there it is. You can almost see. I'll stand back here now. Welcome to the fence. Yeah. You can almost see the size of the job now, really. You look at that. It's quite, uh, quite substantial. So once we've got, um, once we're happy that we've got the steels in place, these props that go across horizontally across here can come out, and then we can start looking at doing things like cutting the, uh, cutting these purlins out. We can put a prop under there. Up here, temp up temporary. Uh, in fact, not temporary. We can leave it in there because there's a wall going there. Now, as I've already said before, across here, and then we can cut the purlin out, and we can start boarding this. But main thing for us to do is get some rafters on here to try and get its water tight. That's what we'll carry on with there then. Okay then, so I've got my stupid hat on and I don't give a monkey's. My wife commented on the last footage, I don't care. I think she's stupid. <laughs> uh, silly hat for gang. So, okay, so we are at a point now, if I turn the camera around, where we've got the steels set in on temporary acros. I've checked my level and as I did with the floor I've dropped the top of this what will be my uh, flat roof rafter 15 below, below that steel again so we can double board again as I explained when we did the floor so what I'll do is I'll do no I'll, I'll just do this side mate and then what I'll do this end is exactly the same I'll level that from there to there making sure I've got 15 mil which is going to be sort of about there like that so we'll fire that just like we did with the floor joists and then we'll put a joist hanger on there. Then what I'll do is, because because these are bolted, even though it's, geez, it's more than strong enough. Um, and this is as per spec anyway, so it's got to be. Um, we believe that there is going to be about a five or six mil deflection in this, in terms of, is that deflection? Down? Anyway, who cares? Everyone knows what we mean. It's going to drop a little bit in layman's terms. It might drop a touch from end to end because it is a point something. 8.2. 8.2. So all we're going to do is level that to eliminate any issue. We're going to put a string line over there once it's set. Pull a string line over that end and then set all of these flat roof rafters then to a string line. A bit like I showed you when I did the floor in that part down there. That's what we're going to do now. Ad's going to, Ad and Mark are going to get some uh, OSB board up and we'll crack on and try and get some uh, flat roof rafters on here now. the hottest day of the year but it's not been too bad as bad as I thought we had an early start this morning we were here for quarter to eight to try and get ahead of it which we did which was good so as you can see we took all this roof off now this is all cut out cut the purn out now either side where it's uh, propped give ourselves an easy access into there now these are the openings for the windows we've obviously got to put the sill in put the cripple legs in to carry the weight make up a triple beam across the top there to carry the weight of the windows and the roof same here and then this one is an opening for French doors, which will look quite nice. These are obviously long, but once we've got some boards on, we'll start from the back, come to him and give us access, easier access to cut these off. We can reach out, put a string on and cut them off. So we'll continue through tomorrow now, working to our string line, pulling these all the way through. And then once we've done that, we'll put a couple of rows of noggins in. And then we'll start boarding. The lads have already got the, the boards up, you've already seen the you've already, already seen the footage of the lads getting that up. Nice task using the old hoist, make it easy for yourself. So hopefully by the end of play tomorrow we'll have all this boarded and we'll be able to say that we are sort of half watertight, albeit this front will be open, but then we may have enough time to start to put some sheets across the face here. 
just to uh, secure us a bit better and make us a bit more watertight. Rubber roof that we're putting on is coming on Wednesday. Today's Monday. So at least we can drop that on Wednesday morning if uh, we do have this storm. We can always get some plastic. Hello. Hello. Looking very sweaty and tired after the OSB task. Oh man. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful day though. Very, very hot, but what a beautiful day. This is quite possibly been the easiest Lofkin Road I've had. Oh, in that... terms of worrying about rain, that is, I mean. By now, I've already had to uncover and cover 25 times, well, which has been awesome so far. My We've got two days, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I had the same pain as you. It was rained all the time. I did my house as well, but there we go. So that's it then. Excellent. Not a bad day today. We can get these uh, steel props measured now, which are going to be in the corners, which we've already talked about. So that, that steel there that you can see in shot there. We'll go up to the underside of the steel we've just put in there. We've got the acro props in there temporary. So we can get those ordered, get those en route. And then we can start finishing taking these straps out, take all the remaining. These I've left in as a bit of a strapper as well for the weight of the roof. But then you would have seen we have left all the tiles off the front up to the purling. So there's no weight on the top half of the roof, which makes it a lot easier. There's not so much uh, flex in the roof. What we're going to do, we're just going to measure these uh, posts before we go actually. We thought, you know what, let's do it now, get them on order first thing in the morning. So all we're going to do to make it easy for ourselves, rather than having to hammer and, and bang, we're going to cut it and then knock five mil off and then just get some uh, shims or something. So laser level, nice and simple on there. Dot goes up on the ridge that you can just about see there and then reads it and that gives us 1868. 18. Six, eight. Okay, see what the inside is. See where we are. Now, we've what we've done is we've leveled these independently because if you remember from the whiteboard scenario that you've seen in the footage, that was measured based on an average height of this floor height, and then I'll come down 75 mil. So, same again. We got this in. One eight six seven. Okay, so we're uh, we're a millimetre out. Millimeter. Do you think we can live with that? Uh, yeah, I think we can. So that's not too bad at all. Millimetre out across the whole lot. But because I've already said about the slight deflection possible in that's this nice. steel, even though what I will say is, if you look at these packers we put in, get my hands over the top. As soon as we put the bolts in, they pulled straight up and went straight together. We didn't pick them up, they just pulled so as we put the lift a little bit of pressure and cranked them together and that's how they're sitting. Which is what it's designed to do. That's why anyone that worries about putting bolts in steels, it's not a problem. It's designed to do that. So there we go. So we're happy with that. One mil out, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it that. It means everything's right. I'm amazed by that. So there we are, we'll leave it with you and we'll uh, we'll see you in the morning, shall we Adam? Yes mate. Hello. See you tomorrow. Time to go home, end of this lovely day. It's a bit warm in here.